Extracts, part two. Immense as whales, the motion of whose vast bodies can in a peaceful calm trouble the ocean till it boil. Sir William Deviant, preface to Gondivort. What spermaceti is, men might justly doubt, since the learned Hosmanus in his work of 30 years saith plainly, Nessio quid sit. Sir T. Brown of Sperma Seti and the Sperma Seti Whale. Vid his V.E. Like Spencer's talus with his modern flail, he threatens ruin with his ponderous tail. Their fixed javelins in his side he wears, and on his back Grove of Pike appears. Grove of Pikes appears. Waller's Battle of the Summer Islands. By art is created that great leviathan called the commonwealth or state, in Latin, civitas, which is but an artificial man. Opening sentence of Hobbes' leviathan. Silly Mansoul swallowed it without chewing. Silly Mansoul swallowed it without chewing, as if it had been a sprat in the mouth of a whale. Pilgrim's Progress. That sea beast, Leviathan, which God of all his works created, suggest that swim the ocean stream. Leviathan, which God of all his works created, hugest, that swim the ocean stream. Paradise Lost. There, Leviathan, hugest of living creatures in the deep, stretched like a promontory, sleeps or swims, and seems a moving land, and at his gills draws in, and at his breath spouts out a sea. He bid. The mighty whales, which swim in a sea of water, and have a sea of oil swimming in them, Fuller's profane and holy state. So close behind some promontory lie, the huge leviathan to attend their prey, and give no chance but swallow in the fry, which through their gaping jaws mistake the way, Dryden's Annus Marabellus. While the whale is floating at the stern of the ship, they cut off his head and tow it, tow it with a boat as near the shore as it will come, but it will be aground in 12 or 13 feet water. Thomas edges 10 voyages to Spritzbergen in purchase. In their way, they saw many whales sporting in the ocean and in wantonness fuzzing up the water through their pipes and vents, which nature has placed on their shoulders. Sir T. Herbert's voyages into Asia and Africa. Harris Call. Here they saw such huge troops of whales that they were forced to proceed with a great deal of caution for fear they should run their ship upon them. Shouten Sixth Circumnavigation. We set sail from the Elbe, wind northeast, in the ship called the Jonas in the Whale. Some say the whale can't open his mouth, but that is a fable. They frequently climb up the mast to see whether they can see a whale, for the first discoverer has a dusa for his pains. I was told of a whale taken near Shetland that had above a barrel of herrings in his belly. One of our harpooners told me that he caught once a whale in Spitsbergen that was white all over. A voyage to Greenland. A.D. 1671, Harris Cole, which might mean college. Several whales have come in upon this coast, fief. Anno 1652, one 80 feet in length of the whalebone kind came in, which, as I was informed, besides a vast quantity of oil, did afford 500 weight of baleen. The jaws of it stand for a gate in the garden of Pitfern.
Sebald's fife and Kinros. Myself have agreed to try whether I can master and kill this spermaceti whale, for I can never fear of any that sort that was killed by any man. Such is his fierceness and swiftness. Richard Strafford's letter from the Bermudas, A.D. 1668. Whales in the sea, God's voice obey. N.E. Primer. We saw also abundance of large whales, there being more in those southern seas, as I may say, by a hundred to one, than we have to the northward of us. Captain Cowley's Voyage Round the Globe, 1729. And the breath of the whale is frequently attended with such an insupportable smell as to bring on a disorder of the brain. Ulio's South America. To 50 chosen sylphs of special note, we trust the important change, the petticoat. Oft have we known that sevenfold fence to fail, thou stuffed with hoops and armed with ribs of whale, rape of the lock. If we compare land animals in respect to magnitude with those that take up their abode in the deep, we shall find they will appear contemptible in the comparison. The whale is doubtless the largest animal in creation. Goldsmith, Natural History. If you should write a fable for little fishes, you would make them speak like great whales. Goldsmith to Johnson. In the afternoon, we saw what was supposed to be a rock, but it was found to be a dead whale, which some Asiatics had killed and were then towing ashore. They seemed to endeavor to conceal themselves behind the whale in order to avoid being seen by us. Cook's Voyages. The larger whales they seldom venture to attack. They stand in so great dread of some of them that when out at sea, they are afraid to mention even their names and carry dung, limestone, juniper wood, and some other articles of the same nature in their boats in order to terrify and approach their too near approach. Uno von Troil's letters on banks and Salander's voyages to Iceland in 1772. The spermaceti whale found by the Nantucois, Nantucois is an active, fierce animal and requires vast address and boldness in the fishermen. Thomas Jefferson to the French minister in 1778. And pray, sir, what in the world is equal to it? Edmund Burke's reference in Parliament to the Nantucket whale fishery. Spain, a great whale stranded on the shores of Europe. Edmund Burke, somewhere. A tenth branch of the king's ordinary revenue, said to be grounded on the consideration of his guarding and protecting the seas from pirates and robbers, is the right to royal fish, which are whale and sturgeon, and those, when either thrown ashore and caught near the coast, are the property of the king. Blackstone. Soon to the sport of death, the crews repair. Rodman, unerring over his head, suspends the barbed steel, and every turn attends Faulkner's shipwreck. Bright shone the roofs, the domes, the spires and rockets blew self-driven to hang their momentarily fire around the vault of heaven. So fire with water to compare, the ocean serves on high, upspouted by a whale in air to express unwieldy joy. Cowper on a queen's visit to London.